Hey, what's up, gang? So free agency officially starts tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern, and 4 o'clock is the deadline for teams to submit or, or make a qualifying offer officially, and then players have until the 15th of the month to accept it or reject it to make the decision. Um, excuse me for sounding nasally. I have a pretty bad head cold, but that's not going to stop the work from happening, baby. No, not going to stop it. So... Um, but now the Yankees have made a couple of roster moves right before things start. And I'm hoping that the Yankees are going to be more busy than not busy. Um, I'm hearing a lot of things that they're looking to you know, trade multiple out infielders, which is kind of a pleasant surprise. But maybe they want to give you know, Oswald Peraza a, a legitimate shot and Anthony Volpe a, a legitimate shot. So maybe, that, maybe that'll happen. I don't know. So who? I know, I know they're looking to move Glaber Torres. They're being pretty aggressive in that area right now. The other infielders, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they could package them. Maybe they'll package Glaber Torres with, with an Oswaldo Cabrera to to get a big trade. You know, uh, I mentioned before Gregory Soto, maybe like a Tarek Scrupa from the Detroit Tigers. That'd be fun. Controllable left-handed starter and a reliever for those guys and some more. Might be fun. I don't know if the Tigers will ever do it, but can, guys can dream, right? So, um, but the Yankees made three moves. Okay, they protected two pitchers on and they put them on the forty man. Okay, Matt Crook and uh, Socr- Socrates Brito. I think it's Johnny Brito. One of those Britos. And uh, I think Socrates Brito. Off protecting them from the Rule 5 draft, which is in a couple of weeks. So, and then they also, to my surprise, they officially released Tim LeCastro uh, from the team. He's no longer on the Yankees team or the roster or anything. So, that was um, a surprise to me because he's one of the more fast and versatile, speedy outfielders who they use regularly as a pinch runner. Uh, they might bring him back. I don't know. It might could be a non-roster invitee, but I I would imagine he'd probably get picked up somewhere. But we'll see. But uh, I mean, he was the guy one of the, you know one of the faster guys in baseball, and the only guy I can think of is that's as fast as him is uh, Trey Turner, who's a free agent. So can you imagine if they trade multiple infields and then bring in Trey Turner and re-sign Andrew Benatendi? Ah, oh, could you imagine lead off Benatendi, Trey Turner number two? Oh man, that would be sexy. That would be sexy. Really would. But we'll see. I'm not. I'm not banking on anything. I'm not ruling anything out either. I want to see what they actually do. So and I hope the Yankees are pleasantly surprising. Cashman's pleasantly surprising. But the fact that he's looking to move multiple infielders create some space. I know he said the other day. I suggested Josh Donaldson's here to stay for 2023. But I, I. I would be. I would be surprised if they couldn't package him with another prospect or two and eat some money and just get him off the roster. Um, I'd be surprised that nobody would take him, even at half the price. So, but we'll see what happens. I mean, if they can move him, if they can move Hicks, that saves them a hell of a lot of headaches and a hell of a lot of money. So, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what they do. But that news I wanted to get out to you immediately because, <coughs> excuse me, it can, it can affect the Yankees' plans for free agency. And they got a lot of holes to fill, right? They got pitching, starter, and relief. They, I mean, they have left field, right field. They got to figure out what to do with Judge, Ben Attendee, Anthony Rizzo, um, and some other moves. So... And they can't sleep on these moves either. They have to be aggressive. They have to be smart. They have to, in my opinion, need to strike fast in some of these things. Get this stuff done, right? And not wait around, wait for the market and all that stuff. And then you lose opportunity. You don't want somebody to come in and bowl somebody else over. Or okay, swoop Rizzo and swoop uh, Judge off the, them while they're just waiting around for the market. Guys, you know what the market is, okay? And in a lot of cases, you set the freaking market. So you, you know damn well what the market is. So how, if you're ever going to spend some money, please do it this year. Please start today. Please show the fans that, and, and, and everybody else that you're serious about winning and not only making profit. We know what your profit margins are, your stuff. It's all public record. We know how much the Yankees making. Despite, I mean, we, can, we can do basic math, okay? So please, make your fans happy. Really, it would, be, it would go a long way, guys. And again, you know exactly what to do. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss anything else. I expect a few moves to happen tonight for agency. So if they do and when they do, I'll be putting it out no matter what. So be ready to rock and roll, boys and girls, because it's now on like Donkey Kong. Talk to you later.